Uh, good morning. Uh, in today's session, uh, we are going to discuss uh, uh, the one of the circuit theorem. Uh, this is uh, third unit. Uh, uh, the third unit uh, is on uh, circuit theorems and its application. The first uh, theorem that uh, we are going to discuss is uh, superposition theorem. But before we really uh, go into the superposition theorem, we have to understand the uh, the linearity property, which is applicable to all the circuit theorems. Now, the linearity property that uh, it describes the relationship, the linear relationship between the excitation and the response. Or, in other words, I can say that linearity property at, uh, is it uh, describes the linear relationship between the uh, output, uh, that uh, input and the output. Here, excitation means the input, and then the response is the output. Now, in the circuit theorem, now we also call it as an excitation and the response. Okay, let's consider uh, the following three equations. Now, this one is uh, to give you the uh, example of the linear uh, equation. Equation one and two are the linear equation. Uh, and then the third equation is not linear. We also call it, in, for the third equation, it's quadratic equation, right? Now, okay, uh, remember uh, this, uh, the formation of this uh, linear equation. You know, uh, in equation one and two, we have y1 is equal to ax1 plus b y2 is equal to a x2 plus b and for the third equation which is not linear it is a x square see the x raised to 2 which means the uh, the order of that uh, x is 2 which means it's not linear now to consider it as a linear equation our order need to have one now if you relate it with the our own flow if uh, like uh, ohm's law is given by v is equal to i r now r is the constant uh, i is the in this case v is the uh, uh, input and then i is a uh, output or we can have in either way sometimes i can be input and v will be output so in this case we have v is equal to i r which is linear equation and then now, from the Ohm's law, we are going to verify whether it is a linear equation or not. Now, to consider the uh, linear equation, we need to have, uh, it need to fulfill the two property. The first one is homogeneity, or we also call it as a scaling factor. Now, when we scale or when we multiply the uh, any constant uh, in both the side of the Ohm's law, let's say if you are multiplying with the constant k in both the side, v k times b equal to k times i r then we can conclude that when the voltage is increased by k that current is also increased by constant k which means it is uh, uh, we can apply the scaling factor there's homogeneity the voltage side voltage side also it's increased with the k factor k and uh, in current side also it is increased with the uh, factor k and then the second um, property is additive now let's say if we have multiple uh, like uh, you, let's say let's say if you have like two ohms so here v1 is equal to i1 r then v2 is equal to i2 r then we can add uh, these two equations for example if you're adding equation uh, four and five we have v1 plus v2 is equal to i1 plus i2 times r now this one is valid thing. You know, the Ohm's law is also one of the linear equation. Okay, now to understand this one, uh, we have a simple problem here uh, to apply the linear equation uh, to prove the linearity of this network. Now I have an example here. In the example, it says that determine I node when Vs is equal to 12 volt and 24 volt for the circuit shown below. Okay, remember from our previous discussion, here we are considering like this, V1 is equal to I1 times R, V2 is also equal to I2 times R. Or like in, uh, in other, uh, in other uh, uh, word, like uh, we have uh, been multiplying, in, in case of homogeneity, we are multiplying the constant K in both the side, and then we have seen that both the voltage and current are increased with the constant k now to in order to prove this uh, 
here they are giving two uh, excitations. First one is 12 volt and the second one is for, uh, 24 volt. Now looking at this uh, to prove uh, the whether this circuit is uh, linear or uh, uh, linear or not, uh, we have to uh, solve this network using any of the method. Now, uh, okay, uh, this is the network that we have to determine the I node when the voltage source here. This voltage source is 12 volt, and then in the second time it is 24 volt. Now, in the same network we have two voltage source we have to solve two times for this one okay now in this case uh, it's uh, easy to go with the mesh analysis or we can also go with any of the circuit uh, solution technique we can also go with the uh, nodal analysis like but in nodal analysis we will have so many nodes here also one node another node here another node here another note here then another note here we have so many notes but uh, if you go with the mesh analysis we can have only two equations here now in this case okay, we are applying the mesh analysis to determine the i node determine this i node when the voltage source is 12 volt and then for the second time when the voltage source is uh, 24 volt okay now uh, Okay, we are going to solve this. Uh, We're going to solve this uh, network by keeping Vs is equal to uh, Vs only, and then later on, when you uh, get one uh, final equation, then we are going to substitute Vs is equal to 12 and Vs is equal to uh, 24, uh, 24 volt. Okay, in the first uh, equation, in the first mesh, we have 6i1 plus Vx plus 4 of i1 minus i2 the reason is here in the in this 4 ohm uh, resistance current i1 is flowing downward current i2 is flowing upward so we have to write uh, we have to write uh, 4 of i1 minus i2 but in this in, in my solution i have written it with the i dash i1 for i dash and i2 for I double dash the reason is when i write i1 uh okay when i write i1 and i2 i'm not i'm not uh, like it's uh, quite difficult to recognize that one for example see i1 is coming like this i1 okay anyway i uh, just remember that in, in in case of the i1 i'm replacing it with the i dash and then for i2 i'm replacing it with the i double dash Okay, now this is the mesh one equation that I got. Uh, now let's uh, okay, I make this small. It's quite difficult uh, for the uh, online class because uh, there's no uh, whiteboard to write these things, so it's quite difficult. Uh, okay, for or mesh one, for mesh one, I have. Let's go with the steps. Six of i dash plus vx here, plus vx plus four of i i dash minus i double dash plus vs. Now uh, take care of the sign conventions. Since this current i one or i dash is entering from plus to minus, I'm writing here plus vs is equal to zero. So in this particular here we are applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law says that the sum of the branch voltage in that loop should be equal to zero. So we uh, this resistance times current in that branch so, so that of uh, is like that branch voltage, right? And then again we have a two ohm branch is given Vx, and then again four ohm uh, branch. The resultant current is I1 minus I2 plus this voltage is equal to zero now uh, okay uh, remember that since uh, this vx we can also express in terms of current i dash or i1 plus minus vx so your current i1 is in turn from here to here which means two i dash so we have six i dash plus two i dash plus four 
4 of i dash minus i double dash plus ps is equal to 0. And then our final equation that we got in mesh 1, in, in this mesh is equal to 12 i1 minus 4 i double dash is equal to minus of ps. And then, well, now for the mesh 2, okay, for the mesh 2, again, uh, we have to apply the case of so voltage law, K value here. If you're going around with this one, we have minus of Vs plus 4 of I2 minus I1 plus 8 of I2 plus 4 of uh, I2 minus 3 Vx. Okay. Or if we simplify this one, we can write minus 4 of I1. Now I1, the, okay, I think. Uh, We'll, uh, we're going to discuss uh, about the inspection method, how to get uh, the direct equation from the network. But these things, uh, before we really uh, go into the uh, inspection method, it's better to understand the other steps, why we are doing like this. Now here, the, com uh, the common uh, res the branch uh, resistance that you, uh, the two mesh have is four, uh, 4 ohm here. So this is minus 4 ohm. And similarly, for the uh, in the first mesh, it should be again minus four i here, but it may not be a valid for all the dependent source. Uh, in case if the source are only with the independent source, this inspection method can be applicable. But if the uh, dependent, uh, if the circuit is with the dependent source, it may not be applicable. I mean that inspection method cannot be applicable. Anyway, that we, uh, we are going to discuss the inspection method at the end. Uh, not in this session, maybe in another session. Now, uh, okay, we have, uh, for this one, we have minus four of I1, then, and then we have eight, okay. Now, other branches, uh, other total uh, resistance in this, this mesh is four plus eight plus four. So you have, I double dash is equal to, okay, uh, I double dash is equal to, it's not 18, it's 16. 8 plus 4 plus 4, okay, 16, uh, 16 I double dash minus 3 Vx minus Vs is equal to 0. Now, okay, there's a small mistake, yeah, it's written 16, 18, it should be 16. I, then, okay, now, in terms, in place of Vx, we are writing in the form of uh, the current uh, controller here. This Vx is given by 2 I, I dash or 2 I1. So we are replacing it here and then it, it is coming around like 6 I dash minus Vx is equal to 0. Since, okay, it's written here, Vx is equal to 2 I dash. So our final equation 2 is minus 10 I1 plus 16 I double dash equal to Vs. Now if we solve this two equation, equation 1 and 2, if we solve equation 1 and 2, then we'll have I double dash is equal to Vs by 76. Now remember, I'm forming the this equation in the form of Vs because we have two source. Vs is equal to 12 and then 24. I double dash is equal to Vs by 76. So when Vs is equal to uh, 12, 12 volt, okay, let's also write the unit. I double dash will be equal to 12 by 76. And then, okay, when Vs is equal to 24, I double dash is equal to 24 divided by 76. Then uh, let's, okay, uh, okay, you can calculate the value for this one. Uh, and calculate the value for this one and just compare with these two. Okay, uh, let me calculate the value myself. Uh, calculator. Okay. okay, hold on a minute. Uh, I don't have calculator. I'm recording the video from home. Okay, we have 12 divided by 76. divided by 76 is equal to how much okay it is 1 point, uh, 0 0.16 is equal to 0 0.16 ampere and then for here 
logically it should be uh, 0 0.16 times 2 the reason is we are increasing the voltage by two times right 12 times 2 we get 24 okay anyway we're going to calculate this one 24 divided by 76 24 divided by 76 is equal to 3, 0 0.32 equal to 0 0.32 okay uh, okay it's just 0 0.16 times 2 if you multiply then it is equal to 0 0.32 ampere if you calculate from here also you get 0 0.32 ampere or if you just multiply with the 2 you will also get this one the reason is since we are proving that network about the linearity now because in linear property it says that if the excitation is uh, increased with the factor k then your response is also increased by factor k now, this is one of the linearity property here we have uh, we have got the first equation the, uh, i mean uh, the first current I double that I2 is equal to 12 by 76 and if you uh, calculate this one we got 0 0.16 ampere and then for the second uh, voltage source VS, when the VS is equal to 24 volt when the VS is equal to 24, 24 volt you can just see the increase of the voltage voltage source from first voltage source to second voltage source is um, uh, increase with times 2 12 times 2 is 34 right now it's increasing with the 24 volt, uh, like increased by two times. So this current should also increase with two times. So here we have 24 divided by 76 is equal to 0 0.32 ampere. And then once you have the value of I2 or I double dash, you can just substitute in the uh, NOP equation here. Then and then calculate the, uh, you can calculate the uh, current I1 for both the source. So that's it uh, about the linearity property, example of the linearity property. And then uh, in the next session, we're also going to see uh, again uh, two more, one, I think one more example will be enough. Uh, we're going to see one more example about the linearity property. Um, then, okay, in the meantime, uh, I have a small uh, exercise for you guys. So you can uh, also try to, uh, uh, try to solve for this one now in this case we have current source see is is given as excitation and then you're going you're going you have to determine the uh, voltage v naught it says this it says that determine v naught when i s is equal to 30 ampere and 45 ampere for the circuit shown below so try to calculate the voltage v naught for i s is equal to 30 ampere and 12 ampere a similar step that we have uh, done in this session okay and then if you have any uh, doubt uh, let's discuss and okay do not hesitate to uh, call me or you can email me you can also drop message in the whatsapp group that we have, uh, that uh, uh, we have created <clears throat> and then in the next session uh, we're going to discuss about uh, this this network okay uh, i thought of uh, discussing just now but uh, it's going to take uh, uh, more time so while uploading the video uh, we are facing difficulty when the video size is large so this one we're going to discuss in the next session